<laughs> yes, you can. Oh, goodness. Where do I begin? Well, I'll tell you what. We're 3-0, and and it's hard to win. I got As I was walking, I was getting updates from scores around the country, so it's just crazy. Um, I actually got this stat this morning where they, uh, they said there were, I think, 16 non-Power 5 teams, won on the road at Power 5 schools, okay? That was before today. So it's just that's in the first few weeks. So, um, man, it's just uh, – a lot of good players. I think the dynamics of things now has kind of spread out some of the town a little bit, maybe. But all I know is, is we played a good football team. We knew that going in. They got a lot of weapons on offense, and we still, you know, we're not playing our best football without question. But, but the bottom line is, is you're trying to find a way to win. And uh, we made a huge emphasis this whole spring and, and fall camp on blocking kicks. And uh, Coach Randolph, our new D-line coach, has really brought a really good attitude about that. And, and our guys have bought into it. And you didn't see a bigger one than you saw right there at the end. And, and I told Fitz, if you would have lateral it to me, I would have scored. And so he kind of cut it back and got tackled. So he'll, he'll learn his lesson. But, but uh, I thought he might go the distance and get us a, get us a win and uh, as a walk-off block. But, man, just uh, offensively, did some good things. You know, still did some things we got to get, get better at. And, and uh, lost uh, our start center during warm-ups, which is a crazy thing. I don't know if we've ever had to happen in the, in the past before. Caleb Murphy comes in and plays every snap. Plays every snap and did awesome. You know, So just uh, we'll see more about the carp situation, but uh, hopefully getting back. But bottom line was he, didn't get, he couldn't play. And he's got to get those, those uh, type of things to you in the last second. You just got to adjust. You just don't blink. So proud of this team. Ugly at times, but uh, found a way to win the football game. And, and uh, we got a lot to uh, – Learn from and a lot to um, build off of. Questions? I guess to start with what you guys did on defense, obviously they got 545 yards, had some moments. <laughs> what, um, I, I guess, you know, when it was going wrong, what did you see that was going wrong? Yeah, you know, the thing, that they, the thing that they do that really makes it hard is you try to balance, you know, the, um, the pass game fits, or, you know, where you're trying to, you know, help us in the pass game and, and also stop the run. And so trying to borrow both back and forth, and they do a good job of stressing you in that area and uh, put a lot of stress on us a year ago with that. I uh, thought we had some good answers, uh, had some bad fits on a couple of those long runs. Um, and uh, so, yeah, I just really disappointed in that, to be honest with you. That, that's probably the most disappointing thing. They're going to get some – but I will say this. This is what I told you guys all week long, guys. They're going to get some yards. Just keep from scoring touchdowns. Make them kick field goals, and then we go block the field goal. Okay, so we still didn't do. We're not trying to, you know, be a bend don't break against these kind of teams. I'm not saying that at all, but there is a level of just recognizing what they can do, and you just got to get in that score zone and choke them out, and, and force them. They got to get takeaways, which we finally got two in the second half, which were huge. And then also, uh, and I thought we dropped a pick there in the, in the fourth quarter. It would have been a huge one, but uh, um, just uh, force them to kick field goals. So did not do a good enough job, and they got some some tempo things at times, and and uh, we got. Some some our, our signals. We we're trying to do some things to speed things up, and, and a couple times for whatever reason our guys uh, didn't get the right signal, and so we had to make an adjustment to that, make sure they could see the right signal, and try to even get our guys giving the signals to change some things with that. So that was a little frustrating, but but to give them credit, I mean Coach Allen's done a phenomenal job with that offense, and and uh, but uh, I told our office we we're going to need to score 30 points, and we scored 33. I think they completed something like 26 of their first 32 or 28 of their first 34 passes. And then they were like, I'm, I'm looking at here, four of 10 in the fourth quarter. I know a little bit of it is probably them trying to bleed the clock some, but it just felt like, it, did, did, did you feel that maybe pressure was getting home a little bit yeah, more? Yeah, it was. was a little that bit was more? key. You know, and, and like I said, there's, there's always this balance because you want, everybody said, oh, you got pressure quarterback. Well, that's great. But then you end up playing man coverage all the time. So we're trying to balance that between some good solid zones. Uh, but, uh, yeah, so that was where, you know, they were doing a lot of quick stuff in the beginning, which is hard to get to them. And it's high completion, high completion percentage passes, which is what you just pointed out. So, uh, yeah, a lot to learn from without question. But uh, it's a unique style of offense to defend. It's very difficult to defend. And, and that's why the number one offense in the country a year ago, and they're on track to be up there again this year. So uh, they're going to give a whole bunch of people a lot of issues. Hey, Coach. Um, <clears throat> You talked about it a little bit, but last six possessions they go interception, field goal, fumble, field goal, and then the two missed field goals. Obviously, they got some yards three times inside your ten, and they they only get six points. I mean, I know you're not pleased with everything, but just how how great was it to see your defense? You know, a hot day, a lot of plays, yeah. really bone up there at the end when they had to make plays and get stops. Yeah, it's character, it's grit, it's LEO. It's just fighting for the guys around you, playing for the people that uh, you work so much 
you spend so much time with and care about and, and uh, execute with. So obviously we got to get things cleaned up to get down there. But but we, were, we do spend a lot of time in that part of the field to be great in that area because we know if we can force field goals in those situations, we have a chance to win a lot of ball games. So, uh, but it's 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 a mindset. The guys got an edge about them. Uh, they were tired. It was hot. Uh, we've had that was our first day game, as you know, and and uh, it does feel different playing at noon. When it's about 85 degrees. So uh, playing a lot of snaps, but that's what we that's why we play a lot of guys. And I, and I will say I will I do think playing a lot of guys is a great thing. But we still got some younger guys that, that are still making some mistakes in those in those second reps, and we got to get better at that. And we will. But uh, at the same time, that's uh, that to me kind of showed up a little bit. But the the bowing up in the score zone, which is inside the 12, and in the red zone there's from the 25 to the 12 for us, the way we define it. But but our guys did a great job playing great football in that part of the field. And all, you, you listed all the stats. So uh, that's what you got to do. Like I said, we got to prevent them from scoring touchdowns, make them kick field goals. And when they do that, go try and block it. Coach Todd, uh, Connor was obviously in a much better rhythm today early mm -hmm. uh, than waiting to come on late, which, which proved to be very beneficial. Uh, the running game still is lagging behind a little bit. The 12 guys you throw to, are you going to try to integrate the lack of a running game more into that and use more guys in, in that type of a running shoot style. Yeah, you know, we rushed for 120 yards, you know, so we'd like to get a little more than that. You know, 150 would be a good good place to be. Uh, and I would say there's no doubt. And you kind of mix things up to kind of create, take some pressure off there with that, without a doubt, you know. But to me, it's just whatever they're giving us, we want to try and take it. And, you know, to me, I felt like we just dropped some balls that were key that hurt us. And I felt like we just didn't finish drives, you know. So, uh, but uh, how we move the ball down the field, you know, I'm not going to get caught up in what, what kind of yardage it is, what area it comes from. We definitely need to run the football. I get that. We did have some good runs. and uh, But they were doing some things at times we got to have some good answers for that and not get caught in some bad calls and and we know that we've already talked about that since uh, during the game here to, quickly at the end so uh it's just continuing to grow as a team and uh um to me it's about finding a way you know to be the best team and the best team is all three phases coming together and that's what you saw with getting that uh, big stop there at the end forced the field goal forcing the block and then being able to get a 51 yarder as time ran out so uh just uh, yeah to me it's Definitely, no, no, no doubt. Are we saying that we uh, are pleased in some ways with some things we're doing right now? We got to get better, but uh, you just got to continue to fight. I love the grit of this football team. I love the perseverance and the way they fight and the way they find a way. So it's hard to win. Said that already once before, but uh, proud of these guys for once again trying to be really, really good. I see down there the red zone scores and chance we were six for seven as a team, and that's what it comes down to. And uh, we gotta gotta find a way to finish drives out, and, and uh, whether we're running the football, throwing the football, you know, we'll take whatever tray they give us. Coach, on uh, the Charles's game-winning field goal, I guess just what's everything you remember from watching that and, and kind of the ensuing uh, celebration? <sighs> I don't remember much about it, so I remember that he crushed it. It was going to be good from about 60. Um, and uh, I, I will say this. So um, you do play the way you practice. I don't know if I said this to the, to, to in this group before, but last Thursday, Charles missed two field goals on our Thursday practice, which he never does. And he missed two in the game, and only one didn't count because of a penalty. Okay? And so we use that to talk about. And I got on charge about that, you know, how it just sets the tone even in that practice. So everything that we do matters, right? And so uh, I was hard on him, but that's why he got the game ball. Because today, when this team needed him the most, and that's what we talk about in special teams, you be at your best when it counts the most. That's one of our DNAs for special teams. And he would is his best. He kicked was it four field goals today, is that right? He kicked four field goals, he kicked three, okay? So he kicked three field goals, and obviously the last one was the biggest one. And so that's what I remember about that kick. The bottom line was that he – responded in a, in a situation where, you know, it's hard. You know, he's a good kicker, but there's a lot of pressure. You know, we just had a huge play, all the momentum. You want a chance to finish the game. And so I just I threw my headset off. I threw my call sheet. And I just started running after guys. To hug. That's, that's the only part I do remember. And I lost my shoot in the process. So, but uh, you know what? Um, you just work so hard. I'm, I'm completely exhausted and uh, proud of this team. It's not one 30 at night, like it's been the last couple of times we've been dealing with this. So that I'm sure you guys are all excited about that as well. But uh, at the same time, I will say this, though. It, there, there's a plan here to keep our fans in the stands. And if we figure if we make come down to the final play, they got to stay, right? And so they got to stay. And so that's the alternative. Now, the bottom line is uh, I'm proud of our team and proud of Chuck. And uh, he's a great, great kicker because great kickers make kicks like that when the team needs them. So proud of that guy. Coach, I'm curious, three games in now, 
competition's about to kick up into a new gear. What for you is the biggest area that you want to see improvement of that you've seen from the past three games that just won't cut it when you get to Big Ten? Um, well, I think defensively stopping the run. Okay, that to me won't cut it. Um, I think we have to continue to uh, tackle better. I uh, felt like we got, you know, they get you in space. I get that. I talked about, you know, before the game that tackling was going to be big because of the way they make you play. And then uh, stopping the run, which we, you know, did up to halftime. I mean, and then at the second half, we gave a couple of long. But one of those was a complete misfit by one of our backers that has to make that play. It goes from either a one or two yard gain to a 50 yard run, which is inexcusable. So, but uh, that to me would be the big deal. And then I think offensively, we can't drop the ball. You know, we got a lot of talented receivers. I don't want to see those drops. They're, they're too huge and be able to consistently run the football when we need to and do a great job with that. I think those things stick out. I'm proud of our offensive line. You know, like I said, losing Zach to start the game was tough. Now, obviously, you don't have Matt, so you got two guys that are out of there that you're counting on in your five, but at the same time, we don't blink. And I'm really proud of, uh, of our guys that stepped up as a whole group and, and Parker Hanna for sure. And, and uh, just, uh, man, so proud of these guys. And, and I just can't, uh, you know, Caleb Murphy, how about that? Comes in there and plays every snap of this game. And I'm so proud of him. And uh, kid, man, he just cried when I hugged him after the game. This means so much to him. This, this program, this university, and he's from Indiana, not that far away. First player from his high school to come play at Indiana, you know, and, and it's just an awesome thing. And so he just, it means a lot to him to be playing in these games with the Indiana Hoosiers on his chest. So guys like that make this special, and I'm so proud of him, and he's just going to keep getting better, too. He's a young, young player. We move from defense to offense. So, so that's what I think when I think of this team. Just kind of big picture, you talked about it a little more specifically, but how do you kind of weigh some of the mistakes that your, your team has made the last few weeks versus just getting to 3-0 and and knowing that you can get even better? Yeah, that, and that's the, kind of the you know, beauty of it. So uh, we talked about this week that, that positivity, optimism, and belief give you a competitive advantage in this world and in the game of football, okay? Because most people are pessimistic and negative, okay? That's just reality. And so, to me, it's how you want to look at it. And I get it. We got, we're going to be very critical of how we played. We're going to do a great job holding our guys accountable for getting the little things right, okay? But be able to do that with understanding that we found a way to win three football games at this level, which is not easy to do. I think we beat a really good Illinois football team. I really believe that, you know. And so, obviously, Idaho was last week, and then I thought we beat another really good football team this week. And Idaho, to me, they're going to win a lot of games at their level. So, is it going to get it done as we move forward? No, we know that, okay. But here's the deal. You play them one week at a time, okay. We put all our energy in and get ready for West Kentucky, and that's what we did. Okay, and we found a way to win that football game. We gotta get better. I get that. I understand that. And that's gonna be the focus. All the things that the film teaches us. And the exciting thing is, we're three and zero with a lot of things to improve on. Okay. I don't feel like we're not even close to playing our best football. And so we did have a better start. Okay. But at the same time, you know, we got the, the, the middle part. You know, we had a great finish to get. We're really strong in the fourth grade. I'll tell you what. We made a big deal about that this whole offseason. We're going to dominate the fourth quarter in our conditioning and our execution. And our guys believe in that. And so we've talked about that. We've talked about that. We've talked about that. And so I'm really proud of that part of it. We've got to make sure and we understand as this season progresses, it's going to take four quarters to beat really good football teams on a consistent basis. That's what we've got to do. Appreciate you guys. Have an awesome day. Elio. 3-0.